Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am on the way to the supermarket to show you guys something really cool. One of the things I love the most about living in China is how easy it is to find technology integrated to basically every single aspect of our lives here. Today I'm going to check out some cool technologies that I'm pretty sure will revolutionize the fact of going to the supermarket. So if you want to know more about it, stay tuned, don't go. Even though right now we can with several tools to make our lives more convenient, like ordering from home, I do prefer coming to the supermarket for grocery shopping. What I don't like too much though is spending time trying to find a product, queuing up for the payment or waiting in line for the cashier to scan the product and then pay. That I would say is my least favorite part of coming to the supermarket. Now I came to the supermarket to show you this super cool product I was talking to you about. And I'm talking about a smart shopping cart with some cool technologies to make the shopping experience easier and quite interesting actually. So basically what we have here is just a regular shopping cart that is converted into a smart shopping cart using the trolley P1, a module that is attached to the cart and makes this simple tool into a more convenient tool to grocery shopping. So basically what we have here is just a module with a touch screen that is, uh, has all the information about the products. We have also here a scanner where you will actually scan the QR code or the barcode for each product. We also have a magnetic point that will help attach the shopping cart and charge when nobody's using it. So basically, you can see here we have all the tools to make this simple cart into a more convenient and useful tool to go shopping. So I usually come grocery shopping once a week maximum and today it's time for grocery shopping. Today is a little bit different because I already pre-uploaded some products that I already know I need or right? we consume every week at home so I used the app to choose them and pre-upload it on my phone. What I'm going to do right now is synchronize my wish list that I already pre uploaded before my phone to the P1 card. And there it is. You can see all the items I, I have chosen before. They are already in the card pre uploaded for me to take them and put them in the card. Sometimes coming to the supermarket could be a lot of time consuming, but P1 will also help with that. I love this feature of this card, which is the navigation part. You can just tap the product that you want and it will show you in a map how to get there. I just love the way it works. It's very simple. Simply grab the product, scan it, and put it in the cart. And it will register all the products just as putting in the cart as you would usually do in the supermarket. There is no extra skill needed to do that. Just scan and put it, and that's it.
Now I have basically found everything I needed. Now it's time for the payment. I can do it directly through the P1 as well. So I just click here, payment. I will use my WeChat on my phone as well for payment. You scan the QR code and already paid. That's it. This is an exclusive lane for the trolley cards. Just come here, take my receipt and just go. As easy as that. Okay, so now this is the new and improved version of the trolley card. This is the P2, and as you can see, it has a much better and modern design. I really like this one because of the lines, the colors, and the design itself. Basically, it has exactly the same features as the P1, but with some extra and new modern technologies. For example, now the screen is integrated into the card, and next to it, we have a phone charger, which is absolutely convenient because while you're doing your grocery shopping, you can just put the phone there and it will charge while you're walking around. We can also see some sensors within the car that will detect if you perhaps didn't scan, forgot to scan product and just put it inside. Or perhaps if you scan only one item and you are purchasing three, it will also detect that. They have different levels of security, so it will alert you to make sure you scan the right item and the right amount of items that you're purchasing. Now, talking a little bit about this alert that this smart car will give me, I will scan one product and use a more expensive one to put it in the car. So it will give me an alert in the screen that there is an error while I was choosing the product because I chose a different one. So if I take it out for the right one, I need to scan it again, put it there, then it's okay. The car just told me it was successfully added to the cart. Okay, now I will put one item without scanning it and it will show me a picture of the product that I put there without actually scanning in the cart. It will show me the yellow light as an alert and a reminder for the supermarket staff that maybe there is a problem with the number or type of product that we have scanned to add in the cart. Now the third alert for an error it will show me is when I scan one product and put a different amount from the one that I scanned. It will show me that the quantity of items have changed, which means I put two but I scan only one. Now, the different kind of solutions that these kind of devices can offer are infinite. Now we're coming to the frozen foods area. I just discovered one of the features that this car has, and I'm talking about augmented reality. Actually, since just arrived to this area, it will show me on the screen a couple games to play while I'm here. So this is one of the products you can find here, and it's showing me basically how to cook the dumplings and following the steps, I will cook a dish that is here. Yeah, just need to mix it just like this. And it's ready. Right, this is just an example of one of the different ways to interact with AR using this device. Of course, the opportunities are infinite. You have a lot of possibilities to create games, promotions, or way to interact from the supermarket with the customers, maybe promote products, maybe offer coupons. So I think this idea is super cool to make the shopping experience something really, really interesting. And as I just see with the P1, the mobile payment technology is integrated in the car. Scan the QR code and it's a successful purchase. Got the little ticket and go out.
The other thing I love about the P1 and P2 is how much convenience brings your life. Right now, we're seeing some people queuing up over there. With this car, we don't need to do that at all because we're using our phone, we're using the technology integrated in the car to pay by ourselves when we're living. That, I think, is part of the past. As a person who loves technology and who lives in China, I have to say I'm totally in love with these two products, especially after being using it for a while, seeing all the possibilities that these kind of technologies can bring to the market. We have here the P1 with amazing uh, technologies. We have scanners, we have a touchscreen, and the best part is you can adapt it to any other dumb cart in a supermarket. It's very versatile, very easy to use. And then we have a second version here, which is uh, with a better design, a lot of improved features that you can see integrated in the car, like cameras, sensors, lights. I think I'm super impressed to see so much technology in something as simple as a shopping cart. That of course will make the shopping experience something more enjoyable, something faster, something more convenient. Using your phone to preload products on the, using the app, using your phone for paying for the products, I think it's just an amazing solution for such a simple task. So don't forget to let me know what you think about these products in the comment sections down below. If you haven't, remember also to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day-to-day -day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impression over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.